your mouth. Yeah. If you don't show me anything, I don't know what you do. You know, same thing right there. Beautiful stuff by Apology. But anyways, we're going to go in this now. We have a man. This is actually great. We have, Arrow. We have two people that both caused upsets. Yes, they right? did. Arrow took out legit rank four uh, in NorCal. And yep. uh, no, rank four. Uh, rank 5 in NorCal, and Jay took out Exax rank 4 in NorCal. Both of these guys reaping the benefits of uh, their hidden boss status. Yeah, really, really great stuff, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, slip yeah. and slide on them, okay. Yeah, Jabe already just popping off. This is, and what's, what I'm excited by, especially by uh, Jabe, is he's a player that I saw a lot in Smash 4, grinding a lot, mm -hmm. but when Ultimate came out, he wasn't able to come out to tournaments until just about a week and a half ago, but he's already coming out swinging. He's placed at like third place, at the two of the events he's attended, and already here he's after a great start as well. Right, yeah, absolutely, man. This guy is very, very talented. And uh, what a wonderful lineup. Of course, rocking out with that, that beautiful Monique. Mm -hmm. Always coming correct. And of course, you get the, the blue Pikmin as well to join the party when yep. they're at death percent. That's always nice. Yep. Let's go, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> Billy's his yeah, name? Yeah, Billy, dude. That's actually great, yeah. But yeah, Billy. <laughs> uh, Lawrence is the red one. Sandy or Sandra is the yellow. Is it, is it Melvin white, is the white one? White is Dexter. Dexter, okay. We call him Dexter. It, it, it has to be like the name of the kid that you always saw eating glue, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's always a Melvin or a Dexter. Wow. I like the recognition by Arrow, actually. He saw uh, the purple Pikmin running back to Jabe and recognized yep. the threat for what it was. Like, sorry, Monique, you yeah. don't get to play anymore. <laughs> you, can't, you can't let her live. Nope, not at all. The, the pressure she puts on, especially in your face, is way too much. Yeah, but, uh, it's so good. Arrow's making his way back in terms of the percent deficit. If he can make it back onto the stage, but Jabe gets in the way with the up air. Yep. Okay, so be careful. We set up. That's actually fine for Yeah, Jabe was like, I have a blue Pikmin on you, so you have to shoot that arrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, trying to go for our mix up there and not be. Not going to work out. Are you serious? The Pikmin toss of the white actually kept the bomb locked in place. Wow. Good stuff. Interesting choice, Jabe actually getting rid of the white Pikmin on a fresh stock yeah. by the opponent. I'm curious what he's looking for instead. He gets himself the red and the yellow. Of course, keeps that purple for the space control. The one Pikmin that does have a hitbox when he toss it, unlike everything else that just latches. Yeah. So one of the things that's also great uh, when you're playing against the Olimar, it's not just uh, looking at that lineup and seeing uh, what their range of actions are going to be, more likely than not, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful to see also, too, what Pikmin they try to farm? Because you can tell kind of based around their play style, if they're very grab heavy, if they're someone who you know, love to have those beautiful strong hitboxes. Oh my gosh. That was such a good edge That guard. was so sick. Yeah, dipping right down to the tip of the blast zone. No way for Jabe to come back from that angle. Jabe still has himself in a good position, and he runs, or actually, wow, actually trying to keep up the pressure on Link the moment that he gets Arrow off the ground. Yeah. Okay, Arrow dealing with these Pikmin very, very well now. Yeah. Not taking too much uh, residual damage. Not only is he getting rid of them very quickly when they latch onto him now, uh, but as, as I pointed out earlier, he's been doing a really good job of killing them the moment they leave the lineup. True. Yeah, a lot of times people just allow these Pikmin to walk in front of their face and go off and do their thing, and you, you, gotta, you gotta be there. You gotta be very respectful because these Pikmin can do so much damage, especially when you see a Monique on the field Chase her down. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And it's the, like Nana. You don't let Nana walk back. It's, it's, you got to do your thing. It's kind of worse than Nana because, like, it, it's like if Popo could pluck a new Nana. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, like, it's just a residual effect that you have to keep dealing with every single time yep. she responds. Yeah. Jabe looking to cover that get up with the up smash. And so fast that it's actually safe just throwing it out there yeah, and yeah, whipping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Such a good close combat option. And that's what makes Olimar such a, such a scary character in this game, is not only does he have such a potent range game thanks to his Pikmin, especially the purples, but then when he gets in your face, he still has that up smash that dominates close combat. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. And again, beautiful her hero spin. Not going to kill just yet, though. Some pressure. Arrow so it sucks because I feel like Arrow relatively is doing pretty well in terms of not taking too much damage off uh, the Pikmin toss. However, he's still not doing enough damage himself, and this is a losing battle. He needs to make a big play. Yeah, and that's that's something that I've noticed. When he closed the gap against Jabe, uh, where like it's the rare moments where Jabe doesn't have any Pikmin in his lineup, yeah. Arrow has been having trouble capitalizing on those moments. True. And uh, when you're trying to race against the Pikmin being lashed on you and some purple smash attacks, that's a very much a losing battle. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Jay looking very comfortable with the way that whole uh, that first game played out. But yeah, it doesn't even look like he batted in the eye, man. Yeah. He very, very focused, had a very well-rehearsed game plan, and it worked very, very effectively. We're going to have to see a little bit more here from Arrow, mm -hmm. some kind of adaptation. Again, defensively, I think it was very sound, but you need to figure out some offensive play there, and you also need to be able to maintain an offensive presence on the character like Olimar. Yeah. Olimar's weakness has really come in the form of edge guard and uh, being juggled. And yes. if you're not going to put Olimar in that position, best believe you're going to lose that neutral. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what Arrow does this time. Right now, he already has a white on him, and wow. unfortunately, he, I see what he was doing. He was trying to prioritize doing what you said, right? Putting Jabe in disadvantage, getting those hits in. None of those hits actually hit the white, and because he didn't get a juggle started, he's now at 77%. Yeah, for it. man, you can't let Dexter do his thing, man. You don't want that dude in the lab, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, man, that up smash, the yellow up smash especially hits both sides of Olimar. It makes yes. it even harder to deal yeah, with. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Umehara. Jabe feeling pretty fearless right now. Enjoying the amount of fear that he's put into Arrow, but Arrow being the engineer, knowing how to put that bomb to get back on the stage. Arrow, yeah, really good stuff. Almost got sniped though by Monique. Gotta be really careful. Otherwise, just kind of letting Jabe run right into his nares and his uh, forward airs. Doing a really solid job right now. Yeah. Eventually, that's, that is the one trick when you're fighting Olimar, is you have to watch that triangle. Rich Pikmin, it's over. Yep. Because if it's a blue, then you have to just treat uh, grabs as death. Exactly. Exactly. Man, and only 51% here on Jeb. Jeb's doing really, really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. Very, very solid plan. My man is definitely fighting for the future, man. Getting those parries all day, every day. <laughs> looking super clean. Yeah. It's just showing that, like, hey, this Nair is nice and all, but yep. I can still hurt you really hard if you're too predictable with the yeah. timing. You better come correct. I like that Broomerang follow-up, just punishing the lack of a tech on the platform. Oh, just getting a single jab? I think he was expecting uh, Arrow to do a panic defensive option yeah. and punish him afterwards, but Arrow kept him on and jabbed himself. Not going to kill the purple after that F-Tilt. These things are so meaty. Yes. And that's what makes them just so much harder to deal with, too, is because they're the highest priority target for exactly. you to kill. Oh, my gosh. What a swing. And that thing will scoop you up so much. you got to be you're very aware. That's where Arrow's really been finding the most success in his stock taking, is once he gets Jabe off stage, the wall that his hero spin like creates is so hard to get around. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to keep Pikmin alive, because they, they slow down Olimar. The purple True. is twice as much as any other one. Absolutely. Trying to just create a little bit of pressure on his way down, but Jabe is completely unfazed, just fine holding his shield up and just waiting for Arrow to give him a vulnerable moment. Okay, rocking with the, the double Billy and the Sandy. <laughs> I like it. The double Bills, baby. Wait, Sandy is the yellow one? Yep. Okay, okay. A whistle actually not coming through. I love the falling there right after the uh, the whiff attack. Still managing to pick up Jabe. Arrow That's now good. sitting at the slightest lead, but not able to close out that oh, edge guard. Man. And that was very unfortunate because I really, oh man, I love the awareness there from Arrow. It looked like he was in a really good space. He went for a spot dodge there because he understood that he only had a Billy, which mm -hmm. means that he's only going to be able to go for this grab, more likely than not. Spot dodge, got the hero spin, got him off stage, did not land that nair, and ended up losing that stock because of it, man. It just feels like those big plays have just not been going in his favor. Yeah. Very, very unfortunate stuff. And unfortunately, in bracket, you don't get many more opportunities to do them. You have to make every single one of those moments count. Arrow is looking to just try to open himself for one more chance to, to stay in this set. But especially with the way that Jay's been running away from all these projectiles, it's looking more and more slim at 85% already. Oh my gosh, Purple Smash is coming out to play. Dexter getting that last Whoa. bit of extra damage too. Yeah, sitting here at 97% and now at a 103. This is looking extremely rough. Gonna find yeah. himself, but no stage spike. Jabe is ready to go to tank it. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. And of course, Lawrence, man, always comes in clutch.